Hey guys, it is literally 1am in the morning. I can't sleep. I am due to go to Hyderabad in less than 12 hours and I still need to pack my bag and I still need to do a food shop in the morning to go buy some supplies. One of my new year's resolutions was actually be more careful with my money. So I'm gonna go and do a food shop to buy a few supplies so I can take with me on my trip. I was just reading through the briefings and things to see if there's any food that we can't take in. Luckily India is quite good with that. I might actually make a list and start packing my bag now. So let me just show you what that looks like so i've just packed the majority of my stuff this is gonna be my cabin bag and that's gonna be my checked in case i'm bringing my electric lunch box all my clothes are there camera and liquids bag just here this is all the stuff i need to sort out tomorrow and all my food is just gonna go here if you guys want me to film a like what i pack in my suitcase for like longer trips or my carry-on just give this video a thumbs up and then i'll do that video for you guys but yeah i secured the goods have all my stuff that i'm gonna put into my suitcase so that I can be good on this trip and not order room service. And yeah, my total only added up to £18. So that's not too bad for like three days, four days. Yeah, four days worth of food. So not too shabby. <laughs> I'm finally in Hyderabad. Excuse my face, I'm a mess after my flight. But yeah, no, it's been a really long day. Let me show you the room. This is the bathroom. Bed. I'm not gonna lie, okay? I'm a proper sucker for a good hotel room view. Look at this. See the pool. I am currently thanking past me getting this for future me because this is exactly what I need after a really long flight to Hyderabad. So this is my current situation. Let's see how this is coming along. Oh, and there you have it, folks. A curry that costs less than £1.50 in India. So shock. I can't sleep. So I'm gonna go to the pool. I'm literally the only person at the pool. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you turn away, I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find them. It's taken a nap. I now can't decide if I want to meet the crew for dinner or if I should just stay in my room and have food. Help me decide, please. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these like Grey's oat bites. So this is the lemon and blueberry and the cocoa orange. Amazing to have to put in your topper with your crew. Um, coffee, pasta sauce, tinned goods, almond milk for my coffee, my cookies that I had earlier. And yeah, just my bento box. Oh, and there's like an Uncle Ben's rice thing underneath it too. But yeah, that's my food. I'm currently cooking pasta in here. Excuse my hair for looking like such a mess, but... I actually did go down to see if they had like any bookings at the spa but it was full so I think my plan for this evening is I'm just gonna have some food and then maybe if it's not too late and I don't feel too tired I might go to the gym so I'll see how I feel. So I can't sleep so always the logical thing to do is to go to the gym so let's go. taken a shower and you can literally see the light streaming in that's really pretty i'm actually not that tired it's just me who literally thinks that there's something so pretty about like the light streaming in on the bed Montage. if 
that I'm using is this Percol coffee on a mission smooth Colombian instant coffee and of course almond milk I try really not to drink too much dairy and when I do drink milk it's usually almond milk and lots of ice let me show you it's literally nothing revolutionary so I just add like a bit of this in here add a bit of hot water Give it a stir and then we get some of the ice cubes. So like this. And then add a bit of almond milk. Six hours later. I guess which stupid person slept for six hours after they told a crew member that they were gonna go out with them and see, like go sightseeing. <laughs> I'm actually hopeless. I was waiting for crew to finish getting their hair cut. I literally just knocked out on my bed, fell asleep. You know that I fell asleep because I was actually really hungry, so I was gonna cook myself dinner. So I put pasta in the electric lunchbox and then I fell asleep and I forgot about it. Are you? An idiot sandwich. And literally it's been sat there for like six hours. I'm surprised I didn't burn my room down. And in case you're wondering, this is just me taking off my makeup because I'm probably gonna put on a face mask and just chill in my bed and watch some Netflix because pickup isn't for another seven hours, eight hours, I can't even remember. Also, I wanted to say, I checked my February roster. I literally have like one flight and that's a Hong Kong freight. It's like a 30 hour duty. Basically a Hong Kong there and back. Fly one sector with passengers and you fly another sector without like it's gonna be interesting a 30 hour duty it's gonna be so long but I actually I'm quite intrigued because it's my first one so we'll see how it goes yeah that's gonna be an interesting month um next month I'm not gonna be posting as much vloggy stuff if I don't have that many trips I want you guys to comment down below uh, what videos you'd like to see from me I just did Pamela Reeve glue YouTube workout and honestly it couldn't even last like five minutes <laughs> That's how you know my fitness levels is really bad. It's like five hours to pick up. I feel wide awake, so I think I'm just gonna have some food. So as I was getting ready, get a note under the door, you know what that means? A bit of a delay basically to pick up. Let's go back to London. <laughs> back from Hyderabad um excuse me for looking like a mess look at my face it wasn't actually that bad of a flight I found my Islamabad worse <laughs> um in terms of like busyness but it was definitely busy like kept us on our feet for sure I now have a few days off so I'm probably gonna film and do lots of like editing and vlogging and that kind of thing but let me know down below what type of videos you guys want to see from me because I'm really having fun with like this whole YouTube thing and I feel like I'm really enjoying sharing with you guys like what I get, get up to and stuff. I have a lot of days off coming up, so maybe more sit down videos to come for sure. A little longer than a few minutes later. I'm currently sat here debating whether I should order Uber Eats or not on landing day. Struggle is real. <laughs> I might do that and just curl up and watch a film. I'm feeling super tired. Take a nap. You wanna take a nap? <gasps> I'm taking a nap here. Okay, take a nap right there then. Good night. Good night. I think I'm just gonna do that but maybe I'll try and stay awake because it is like time is it 4 40 so if I stay awake for like two three more hours then I can probably sleep through the whole night I might try and do that but yeah no thank you for watching this vlog comment like subscribe if you guys liked it bye the next morning you'll never believe it okay so I've just woken up from my post flight nap um landing day nap and I checked my roster thinking Oh, what have they changed my block of availables to next week? Never fully expecting that I would be going to this place. And they've changed it into a three-day trip. And it's somewhere that I've bidded for. 
and I'm so, so excited. I literally can't contain my excitement. I don't know whether I should go and tell you guys now or maybe later. Stay tuned then for my Instagram stories. I might have told you guys already by the time I've uploaded this video. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs>